think it's very clear to note without any exception that you can see there are problems within that sacred marriage of Harry and Meghan and I'm not being spiteful or disrespectful here. We all saw didn't we as they arrived in Colombia that Harry had to be reminded to grab Meghan's hand and you think about that and think it should be just instinctive particularly in public. The bottom line was of course behind the scenes as one knows things were really going from bad to worse. It's been said that that particular visit to Colombia already cost that government around about 45 to 50 thousand pounds. I suspect a lot more given the well massive security that was given around the ex-royal couple. But what's interesting is this that according to a very well placed source Meghan Markle is more than happy to have time away now from Prince Harry because it's something that he apparently could also need. Let me explain. Hi, good to see you today. Thank you so much as ever for your time. It's nice to have your company. And as I often say, welcome all, uh, one and all brand new subscribers. It's lovely to have our family getting bigger and bigger. And nice to see so many people making friends with each other around the world. It is, I mean, that's the whole point of it, you know? Make friends, get some conversation going. Don't feel alone. You know, you might want to after this broadcast, but don't. Um, <laughs> you know, pulling your leg, of course. But you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't get to talk to you know, people on a daily basis. And it's very difficult, isn't it? And if you live in somewhere that's a bit more secluded or you're not in a city, you know, things like that. I'm lucky, honestly. I walk around this wonderful t town of ours, London, and people stop me all the time. Say, so get out the way, you know, no, no, but you know, <laughs> they're so kind, you know, and you get to talk to people and it's lovely. But I know for those that don't, this can be sometimes a bit of a lifeline. So I'm thrilled that so many are now saying, oh, you're in there, you're in there, let's say hello, and they become friends. It's what it's all about. Back as ever, to your royal story of the day. Now, as I say, apparently, according to a very well-placed source, Meghan Markle's quite happy to lose Prince Harry, and some might say, given his moaning, um, yes, you know you know what it's like, ladies? Yes, if you've been married a long time, sometimes you just wish your husband had a shed, and you go and sit in it for hours and end, don't you? Yes, the shed at the bottom of the garden. But on a serious note, according to this source, you see, Harry is still very, very keen to make some kind of inroads about a permanent uh, return back here to the United Kingdom. I told you first and exclusive recently that of course he could have a particular bolt hole at the Spencer household. That is a little bit too far out but it could be somewhere that he could call uh, a UK home with a lot of security and away from prying eyes. But where does Meghan fit in? Well I've told you before she doesn't want to return no matter what security placements are put in place. No matter what Harry pushes forward through she doesn't want it. You know she's got other fish to fry not too fuss that sort of stuff. She realizes of course that the dream of whatever he thought over here in the United Kingdom has now run dry and the bigger picture the true bigger picture is that she just wants to become a brand ambassador influencer make money she's no plans really to sort of bring her herself should I say and of course Harry's two children over to the United Kingdom but she knows that this will be something that he will want to do as the itch becomes a little bit harder to ignore for him wanting to return to his roots the big a confrontation I was told by an ex-employee is the fact that Harry clearly does want to introduce his two children to the British way of life. He's very aware that Archie and Lil don't have any concept of his background, only that of, of course, the mothers. You can understand that. It's pro becoming problematic. However, according to that source, if Harry does want to spend some time over here independently, and that could be at a month, two months at a time, well, Meghan's more than happy. But according to that source, and as ever we have to say, allegedly, he can do it alone. She ain't coming. Now, what do we think to that? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.